All right, you just saw him in the executive keynote and we cannot wait to dive into everything with him right now, live and in person. Please welcome NetSuite Executive Vice President and founder Evan Goldberg. Thank you for joining us. I'm glad you're safe after that little bike ride. Yeah, it was a little rough. I'm used to riding bikes that stand still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're 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 uh, you're out of your element, and then you had to kind of uh, go in the dark a little bit up that ramp. Well, I, you know, I, they, what they, you know what they say about bicycles: just get back on, and yeah. it all worked out okay. It all comes back to you. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, um, congrats on another successful, great keynote. Um, major announcements: AP Automation. CPQ, Sweet People Workforce Management, Ship Central. We'll, wow. we'll, we'll get to all that. You must that. have watched the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe so. Maybe so. We, we don't just sit here and you know, uh, you know, kick back. We we listen. <laughs> um, but full suite ahead. That was a theme, right? And uh, w w what does that mean for our customers? Well, you know, I think no matter what's happening in the world, our customers are so incredibly nimble. Um, you know, they're used to being tossed around in uh, rocky seas that may not impact a bigger ship so much, and um, they always keep going forward. I know I'm mixing metaphors between trains and boats, but uh, and yeah. Bikes, and bikes. Bikes, yeah. you know, all kinds of transportation. But no, I mean, I think um, just keep being focused on your goals, your vision, and powering through, you know, whatever stands in your way. Yeah, well, you know, speaking of our customers, earlier on in your keynote, you mentioned that just last year at this time, we had 27,000 customers all over the globe. Just one year later today, we have now over 32,000 customers globally. Um, it seems like NetSuite keeps experiencing this kind of growth, even though the past three years have been fairly difficult for, for everyone. Um, what do you attribute this to? Well, I mean, we, kind of have a broad footprint. We cover all different kinds of businesses. So, you know, in, in, it's never kind of everybody's doing badly or everybody's doing well. You know, different sec segments do uh, differently in different scenarios. So, you know, we've been able to find those companies and they've been able to find us that are fast growing companies that are doing great things. And there's always new great companies um, like Wira, but yeah. actual real companies <laughs> um, that are being created based on great ideas. I was curious if Finley was going to make their way into NetSuite TV at any point, the founder of Wyra. Um, no? Yeah, well, uh, maybe. <laughs> um, I'm sure we could find a Finley somewhere. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. Um, but when you reflect on this, 32,000 customers all over the globe, um, what does that mean for our NetSuite community? Well, you know, I think it means that I, I think it means for everybody that there's more people for them to interact with at Sweet World, yeah. first of all, so that's kind of cool. And uh, there's great, more great stories for us to tell, uh, which is awesome. And it's also the scale helps us to continue to expand NetSuite, make it better. And we have tons of great stuff going on in the labs, as it were. Yeah, yeah. You know, we mentioned this fictional company you talked about, uh -huh. Wyra, and, uh, you know, kind of a composite of all of the challenges and issues that that our customers face um, but what are what are some of the most common ones you actually hear yeah well I mean we've been talking about this for years this idea um, that you know product companies are adding services service companies are adding products and you know Wira is a company that really has sort of three legs in the stool they have a product they have an internet service and then they have people uh, services and and so that's what we're seeing more and more is and that just increases the complexity this is happening much earlier in customers in companies life cycles yeah. and that's why they need to look at their systems and can their systems really support these more complex business models yeah and 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 all these challenges they're constantly changing but the last few years have been especially you know tumultuous um, what about NetSuite makes it uh, so that our customers can adapt more quickly. Yeah. yeah. Well, we built it from the beginning to be really flexible. We knew that every company is different. There's a lot of things that are similar, and we have a lot of horizontal functionality. There's a lot of things that are maybe similar just to other companies in your industry, so we have a lot of sort of vertical functionality, but then there are things that are unique to you, and there are things that change specifically for your company. And we have this incredible platform that lets people adapt NetSuite easily, cost effectively, and make the system work for whatever's going on right now. Yeah, and we heard a little bit about that. I, I was really um, interested, Patrick was talking about all the things that have changed, the, the, the cost of a container yeah. going up $30,000 yeah. 
um, the time to receive. The ship, if, you, if you want to ship something in it, if you want to buy a container, <laughs> it's like $300 now because right. they bring the containers here and then they just drop them and go back and get more of them. Wow. The glut of containers. I mean, wow. it's crazy. Who would have ever expected that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, creates a whole new dynamic to the market. And, and that, that's the kind of change we're, we're seeing right now on a constant basis. Yeah, um, so you kind of hit on this a second ago, um, but in, annou in announcing some of our new functionality, you talked about some of those really kind of pesky, discrete business processes, bill payment, packing and shipping in a warehouse, um, building a customer quote, things that most companies do, but not all of them um, are automating them. Yeah. Oh, why, you said this, but why, it's happening earlier now than ever before, but sure. why aren't businesses automating these processes from the start if these are such impactful processes? I mean, well, this is what they rely on business systems to do. <laughs> it's not unreasonable yeah. for them to ask us to do it, and yeah. that's exactly what they've done. And the things that we announced today are based on things that they say they have a lot of issues with. Time and attendance, hourly workers, yeah. hard to manage. Obviously, AP automation, all these bills that are coming in and getting them paid on time or at the right time for your cash flow. I mean, these are things that, you know, tons of companies of these 32,000 yeah. uh, have seen and, and, and we are going to respond. So for any of our customers who are tuning in right now that maybe still feel a bit burdened by some of these manual processes um, and silo data, what, what advice do you have for them? Well, if you're already a NetSuite customer, <laughs> I would recommend that you talk to your account manager <laughs> about maybe how you might be able to adopt some of these. Um, and if you're not yet a NetSuite customer, I'd say it's time to get on NetSuite. Time to do it. You know, we didn't really hit on this in the, in the keynote this time around, but um, we do have some people coming on later to talk about OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, but are there some other important innovations that are happening now because of our partnership with Oracle? Well, you know, two great add-ons uh, that can really enhance your use of NetSuite are NetSuite Planning and Budgeting mm -hmm. and NetSuite Analytics Warehouse. And these have been built um, on the foundation of really powerful Oracle technologies, but adapted to work specifically with NetSuite. So that's just a couple examples of how we've been able to collaborate. We're going to see a lot more. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, not just with OCI itself and their infrastructure, but some of the services available in OCI, autonomous database, uh, some of the AI services. We'll be really leveraging those in the future. Great. Very, very exciting stuff. Um, we will be having folks come on later today to talk about NetSuite planning and budgeting, to talk about NetSuite Analytics Warehouse, as Fritz said, OCI, so lots of exciting stuff to come. Um, but Evan, we can't let you get out of here without first talking about where we are. So what are you most excited about for Sweet World this year? Well, I mean, you know, there was the wedding. Ah, the wedding uh, did happen. Yeah. The wedding and, did happen. And so that was that was extremely exciting and, and really touching. I mean, I. I shed a virtual tear about it, <laughs> really, really something. But um, you know, it's always the same for me at Sweet World. I love talking to our customers. I love hearing what they're doing. You know what you know what they're facing. What their you know big visions are. Mm -hmm. We have such just an amazing array of companies, for-profit companies, not-for-profit companies. They're all changing the world, and that's what always excites me about Sweet World. That is, I feel like I say that every single time we are on NetSuite. I probably stole it from you. I know, you probably watch this and are like, yeah, great, yeah, that was my really line, good. that was my that's line. That's really good. <laughs> but no, yeah, same thing here. It's great to hear from all the customers and not only the challenges they're facing, but how we're helping them overcome those challenges. And really, you know, we always talk about our North Star and helping them, you know, stay true to their North Star. So that's uh, really exciting stuff. And Evan, I am so excited about NetSuite TV this year because this will not be the last time that we have you on with us. In fact, far from the last time, you'll be joining us a couple more times throughout NetSuite TV and so everyone who is watching from home right now you better make sure you stay tuned because Evan will be back with us a few more times. That's right. Forward to it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and maybe you can bring uh, Wine Mom. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's I mean, you know, she kind of <laughs> likes to stay on the down low yeah. a little bit, but I'll, you know, I'll except see, for when the war see. Yeah, except Obviously. for when the Warriors are yeah. in the play. Yeah. Yeah. She's so shy. Yes, yeah, so and unassuming. Shy. And not busy having a little wine. Uh, yeah, wine. yeah, so, yeah. You know. nothing, nothing like some uh, 9.45 a.m. wine. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. I mean, she, you know what she said? Is she said, you know, that's like one of the only times I've ever had wine on the floor because I'm worried about spilling right? it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, now everybody thinks I'm drinking wine every time. No. So I just wanted to clear the air on that no, one. That just Despite the fact that she's trashing me on stage. Right, exactly. Right, right, right. <laughs> she it's did call you high maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> Come on.
<laughs> Who would say that? I know. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you for joining us. And after this short break, we're going to throw it over to Christina, who is waiting in our brand new NetSuite TV lounge designed by Studio 